everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vishman Subramanian. So today we're gonna talk about the mental health during this pandemic. So a pandemic is not just a medical phenomenon. It affects individuals and society and causes disruption, anxiety and also stress. So the behavior of an individual as a unit of society or a community has marked effects on the dynamics of a pandemic that involves the level of severity, degree of flow and the after effects. So rapid human to human transmission of the COVID-19 resulted in the enforcement of regional lockdowns to stem the further spread of the disease. Isolation, social distancing and closure of educational institutes, workplaces and entertainment venues consigned people to stay in their homes to help break the chain of transmission. However, the restrictive measures undoubtedly have affected the social and mental health of individuals. So the coronavirus pandemic is taking a toll on the country's mental health with the number of suicides rising as a result. So as you see, a total of 34% of 4,142 calls received by the befrienders between March 18 and May 16 were related to the COVID-19 outbreak. Over a third of the calls about COVID-19 were suicidal in nature. So the health ministry also reported that it received some 2,500 phone calls and more than 1,000 WhatsApp messages. So having to adjust to sudden changes related to the movement restriction and face uncertainties in their finances, employment, education, and even obtaining daily provisions of food supplies can be very stressful, especially in more remote areas and may worsen loneliness and increase the risk of domestic violence. So I'm gonna tell you how to protect your mental health during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. So the first one, you have to recognize that your anxiety is completely normal. So if school closes and worrying headlines are making you anxious, you are not the only one. So actually that is how you should be feeling. So psychologists have long recognized that anxiety is normal and healthy function that alerts us to threats and helps us to measures to protect ourselves. So the second thing is you have to find a distraction. So psychologists know that when people are in chronically difficult conditions, it's helpful to divide the problem into two categories. The first one, things they can do something about. And the second one, the things that they can do nothing about. So there's going to be a lot in that second category right now, and that's fine, but what can help us cope are distractions. So I would suggest doing homework, watching favorite movies or reading books as ways to make it easier for ourselves and to find a balance in everyday life. So the third one is you have to focus on yourself. So have you wanted for a while now to learn to do something new, to start reading a new book or to devote time to playing an instrument? So now is the time to do all that, am I right? So focusing on yourself and finding ways to use the time that is now available are a great way to take care of your mental health. The fourth one, you connect with your feelings. So missing events with friends, hobbies, and sports is very disappointing. These are major losses. So they are very upsetting for all. What is the best way to deal with disappointment? Allow yourself to feel it. So when it comes to having a painful feeling, go be sad. And if you allow yourself to do it, you will feel better soon. So everyone processes their feelings in a different way. Some are going to make art, some are going to want to talk to their friends and use their shared sadness as a way to feel connected in a time when they can't be together in person. It's important to do what you feel is right and useful. So what am I doing during this pandemic time to take care of my mental health? I exercise regularly, I'll try as my best to eat healthy food, I read some good books, I study, I make YouTube videos, then I would be watching inspirational and motivational videos. So these are some of the things that I do to take care of my mental health. So what are you guys doing to take care of your mental health? Please do comment in the comment section below. I would love to see it. So that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to click on the bell icon to receive more from myself. Stay safe and stay home. 
I'll catch you in the next video.